righty. Hey there, how's everyone doing today? Okay, welcome to HFMA Live. All right, this is uh, season one, episode number two. How about that? So my name is Jason Baker, I'm your host. We're gonna talk today about HFMA, Enterprise Member Solutions, and more importantly, what's the benefit to you? Okay, we have a great cast today, a number of stars within the HFMA Oregon chapter. We're gonna talk to us about a bunch of different things here that again will benefit you. So really quick show of hands, and for those of you online, we have an online poll we're gonna launch, but raise your hand or take the poll. How many people are familiar with HFMA? Okay, secondary, how many people have utilized any of the services or products or awesome? So we have a few out there. Okay, so we're gonna launch this survey. People online can let us know as well. We'll let you know, but we have about 50 people in the room, number of people online, and we are excited, so thanks for coming. We are gonna start with our uh, past president, an amazing expert of HMA Oregon, and that is Mr. Matt Navigato. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Wow, big crowd. We I yesterday and probably double the crowd at Providence, so way to go. Nice job, Prov, huh? Awesome. So, good. So, you know, thanks for coming out. We really sure. appreciate it. Um, we're here today to talk about HFMA. Yeah. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is HFMA? I'll certainly do that. But, you know, first and foremost, how's the talk circuit going? I mean, oh my have gosh. you seen Ellen and Oprah lately? I mean, the paparazzis have been insane. I know. You know, day two, 24 hours. Wow. Wow. I tried to pull in the parking lot one. Couldn't. There were too many cameras out there. Yeah. I had to go to parking lot two, which is good because that's where I was supposed to park. Yeah, good job. Yeah, I know it's, it's been good. Real busy, but um, it's good. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for asking. <clears throat> hey, so let's talk a little bit about National HFMA. I wanted to start there. Make sure everybody knows that we have a national group as well as our local organ group. So if we start at the national level, there are 38,000 members in National HFMA. That's a huge organization when it comes to being a specialty organization. So very proud to be a part of uh, HFMA at both levels. You know, it's really a premier organization for healthcare finance leaders. And really what National HFMA does is they really try to bridge the gap between what some of the industry issues are out there and then how do we implement best practices to deal with those issues? Um, you know, you may ask, well, where can I find this information? And, you know, I think the best thing to do is recommend the uh, website. So www.hfma.org. They have amazing articles out there. And uh, it's a wealth of information on any clicks that you make in there to get a lot of the information that we're going to talk about today. Uh, for instance, certification and what em enterprise membership solutions mean. You can get all of that at the national website. So it's a really cool website to visit. And if I go back a slide, the one thing that national and our local chapters about is education, education, education. So like in real estate, it's all about location. Here at HFMA, it's about education. And we really want to bring uh, education at the national level, which you'll find all the articles on the website that I just showed, um, about really what's going on there with value-based care, um, what's going on with physician negotiation on uh, getting better contracts, merger acquisitions, all of those things that you can think about in the healthcare world. HFMA is really on the forefront of seeing what's going on out there. I mean, that's amazing. So 38,000 national members. 38,000. Huge organization. So that's great. Great resources. I'm glad to know it's an org as yes. well versus a dot com. Don't that's confused. Yeah. Com, right? so I think it's good. Yeah. But so great. National is awesome. But what about Oregon? Like, how does it affect us locally? Like, do we have our presence and what does that look like? Yeah, here in Oregon, we have a really cool chapter. Uh, when I went to national events when I was president, and I know Leanna and Kelly can speak to this as well, is everybody knows about the Oregon HFMA chapter and they call it that Oregon has this secret special sauce that goes on. And, you know, I, I try to put uh, sort of language or, or words around what does that actually mean? And I think it's just the close, tight-knit relationships that we're able to develop with our friends that have now become friends and our business partners. It's really interesting because Oregon HFMA has representation from all the healthcare systems here locally in, in Oregon. So you would think that we're almost competitors out there, 
but um, you know we're not. We we come together. We try to understand what each other's problems are, and we try to find solutions for that. So it's a really cool organization. So I mean, so Gray, you mentioned special sauce, which I I've heard that phrase a lot, which is super cool. It's kind of interesting. A little bit frightening, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but really, how do we differ from other chapters, or how do we differ from the national level? Yeah, I think you're going to hear a lot about that today. I think John Essa, when he talks about networking, uh, is going to really cover that. But uh, um, you know, number one is education. We at the local level, we also provide incredible education. We always reach out to our members and ask, "What do you guys want to hear?" Because HFMA is, we're all volunteers. Everybody you see here is all volunteering their time to create a really cool educational uh, session as well as um, a specialty organization. So we reach out to our members saying, hey, what are hot topics in your world today? One of the great ways we do that is we offer a free session uh, at our quarterly conference. It happens every Wednesday. So our conferences are Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Wednesday is a free session. And we come together and we talk about hot topics that are happening in your organization. And it's a really powerful, powerful uh, session that we create. And you guys just bring your questions in. You learn from Legacy, OHSU, Providence, Columbia Memorial, all of the areas uh, that are out there uh, that can provide information and feedback to what's going on in the local market. Uh, that sounds amazing. Did you uh, see that? There's a set guy right on It's our great. Side. I know. We're <laughs> HFMA Live, there it is, folks. Live <laughs> and a hand on to Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Johnson, Johnson Michelle Cooper, you. our tech team. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Um, and one thing I want to go back on. So we're, I'm not getting paid for this. Uh, you did I don't get a lunch. Okay. So okay. Your payment. I yeah. wasn't aware that was not part of the contract. Sorry so about that. no worries. Yeah. Well, why don't you talk maybe about our leadership team and kind of how we're structured? So if you go to our local uh, website, it is www.organhfma.org. Um, you guys can visit there. It's a really cool website. We just revamped it. Uh, the landing page right now is talking about our spring conference, 2019. That's always held uh, down at the beach at Salishan in Glen, Glen, Glen Eden Beach. Um, and again, you guys can come Wednesday for free. Uh, if, if your organization doesn't support you because of the enterprise member solution, there's a lot of members, so it does cost uh, the organization a lot to send a, a large number of folks. But Wednesday is free. Get a little taste of it, uh, which is always fun. It, really fast to interrupt. So is there a way if I can't make it to that conference, but I want to get some of that information, I'm able to get that? Absolutely not. <laughs> awesome. No, uh, we do offer now online uh, sessions, thanks to Michelle Cooper and Jeff Johnson. There are AV, AT, uh, or AV Tech folks, and we're trying to bring our uh, quarterly conferences out to our enterprise member solution via the technology that we're offering today. We also offer these post-conference, uh, so you guys can go to the website, click on any of the sessions that you may have wanted to attend, and be able to take that post-conference. What a great opportunity. I just think it's great that we're able to push this content education to all of our members, enterprise solution-wide. Real powerful. And again, we're here for the members, so yep. we're really trying to fill that need. And then quickly, you're going to meet Liana Haas. Uh, she is our current president. You're going to meet Kelly Smith, uh, who is our incoming president. Rachel Cedar, she's amazing. She's our finance person, treasurer. And then Tammy Kuhn is our incoming secretary. And again, their bios are out on the website. So if you guys have any information, need to, uh, want to learn more about folks, it is a great place to start uh, to learn about Oregon HFMA. Just terrific info. Is there anything else you yeah. think that would be value add or something we should tell our guests? Uh, just wanted to know, who were you wearing today? Well, um, probably Nordstrom Rack. Nordstrom Rack. Yeah. Very Purchased by me. All right. Yeah. A little Banana Republic if you're interested. Oh, I so. can tell. Yeah. Last season. <laughs> yeah. Last season. Anyway, really, thanks for coming. We appreciate it. Get off the stage. Let's go. So, great information. Matt Navigato has been amazing nationally and locally with the Oregon chapter. He talked a little bit about the benefits of what you can get. Education is huge, and it's a big part of what we're trying to do here is push this education to all of our members, which is you guys online and in the studio audience. So, thanks for that, Matt. Next, we're going to welcome Liana Hans, who's our current president. Hey. Yeah. Great to meet you. Grab a seat. Thank you so much. It's my second day on the circuit. Well, but Paparazzi, it's right? It's amazing. Um, I did get some information for you. Oh, you did? Wow. Poll. We have an update on the online poll. So we have 50% of all the people 
um, have heard about HFMA, but they're not quite sure what it is. So great, thanks for joining today. Uh, we have 28% that don't know what it is. So after today, you can't say that anymore. And <laughs> 22 are familiar with it and probably utilizing it. So great opportunity to learn more, get more engaged and active. So thanks everyone who participated online. Great job. Woo. I don't know, Jimmy Fallon throws it, so I'm gonna throw it too. So again, thanks for coming up, we really appreciate it. Um, we've learned a little bit about HFMA, national and locally, but there is something called the Enterprise Solution Membership, and can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Jason. So I'm gonna cue up my slide here. So you've heard a lot about HFMA and everything that it has to offer, both at the national level and at the chapter level, but you know, an individual membership is expensive, uh, like more than $400 wow. per person. So what HFMA has done is put together an enterprise solutions membership for big organizations or well, large and small so that they can bring all of this HFMA to their teams. So here at Providence St. Joseph, anyone who is a caregiver can log in and sign up for this HFMA program. That's the terrific. Enterprise. So where most of us kind of in the past have thought it's maybe for upper leadership or management, but what we're saying is it comes to the frontline caregiver, all the employees throughout the organization. Absolutely, yeah, there's just so much information out there that benefits everyone in our healthcare organizations today. So they wanna bring that to it's someone who wants to sit at their desk and just look and see what's going on and educate themselves on maybe patient access or patient-friendly billing, um, whatever it may be. Even if they wanna just tune in and kind of see us at the conference, yeah. we do those live streams of some of the um, the best speakers that we have going. So really just bringing it to the entire organization, everything that's out there that this membership has to offer. That's incredible that the organization sees the value in their employee and is able to invest to be able to say, hey, all of you, we want you to grow, learn, career development, gain education, and they're investing in their employees to take advantage of those. So that's just, that's incredible to all these organizations who have joined. So yeah. shout out to them. Let's get a round of applause, huh? <laughs> nice job. I love it. So you did mention the word benefits. So what are those benefits? Can we walk through some of those? Sure, yeah. So we've talked about expertise, so access to that, career development, leveraging resources, and then there's certification. Um, so really here, go into it a little bit further, um, you know, what's in it for you. So really gaining knowledge, gaining expertise. It takes an initiative on your part to just jump into those websites and really look around and hopefully you can work with your coworkers and your colleagues and say, hey, I just saw this great program on, you know, um, you know, revenue cycle. I really think you should take a look. Um, there's also national forums and newsletters and webinars. So really, again, as, as Matt talked about, education, education, education is out there to really help further your career development. It sounds like it's pretty unlimited. I just need to kind of click and open it to kind of see what there's out there for me. You do. You really need to to get in there. I know that HFMA is working to make that website just a little bit more friendly. Right now, you really have to kind of get in there and, and dig around, but if you do it, if you take the time, I think there's a lot there for that for you. Awesome, that sounds great. Can you give us like one or two additional tips that you just think people should take advantage of or that this uh, Enterprise Solution Membership really offers a benefit to the employee? Sure, I think you just really, again, further your, cult, your education, your networking, so um, you know, whether it be with an organization across the country or someone here in your, in your local chapter in the, in the Oregon region. Um, so really just getting involved awesome. with the chapter, career development. Again, we talked a lot about um, networking and, and with the colleagues, network, networking opportunities. And again, just leveraging those resources um, to, to be, further your career. Sounds amazing, and just what a great opportunity. So. Awesome. Is there anything else you think we want to hear about? Um, just again, here's a list of more more education items that are out there. There's just so many that we talked about the 50 plus webinars per year. So National does a lot of webinars. And of course, out of those 50, maybe only a couple of them really apply to you or that you'd be interested in. And then the Oregon chapter also puts on our own webinars on things that are topics that are more close to home here in the Oregon region. All right. Well, awesome. Well, thanks for coming out. Yeah. We really appreciate you providing us some information. and. We will all get actively involved. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Bye, Jason. Yeah. So that gives us a little bit of information about what this brings to you, and it just opens the door for just unlimited resources that can gain more knowledge, education, resources. We can see those listed there. So thanks again, Liana. Our next guest, she's the incoming president. Her name is Kelly Smith. 
Hey, Cal. Are we going to hug? Are we going to hug it out? Awesome. Grab a seat. Thank you. No handshakes for Kelly. Nope. No. All right. Real big hugger. Yep. Real big. Trust us if you know her. Yeah. Um, so thanks for coming. We really appreciate it. And um, we've heard quite a bit about some over high level things that HFMA kind of offers and enterprise solutions. But specifically, I'm interested in the one you are kind of focusing on today, and that's certifications. Yeah. But what does that mean? And can you tell us about that? Absolutely. I'm happy to do that, Jason. So HFMA offers a number of certification programs. And it really helps make sure that there's opportunity for fat, for folks no matter where you work in revenue cycle. So there's a couple certifications that I have um, sharing up here for you. So there is the first one, which is the CRCR. And this certification is really geared for those frontline staff. It's those people who interact with patients on a daily basis. We also, also have the CHFP, which is the, a more broad level certification that touches on patient accounts, but also finance. We have another certification that's for business intelligence. So for those folks that are interested in the data and analytics, a certification for you. We have one for physician practice, so improving the medical group practice. We have one certification for managed care folks. So anybody out there that's working on authorizations, there's a certification program for you. And then lastly, there's the certified specialist in accounting and finance. So experts for financial reporting. I mean, that's pretty incredible that it ranges from such a variety of jobs and you know duties. And so that's great, lots of opportunity. Mm -hmm. But let's get to the bottom line. What's in it for me? Why would I even want to be certified? What's the advantage there? Yeah, absolutely. So healthcare is just becoming increasingly complex. And so there's a lot of opportunity within Revenue Cycle to become an expert. And so these certifications allow you to not only learn more about the different aspects of Revenue Cycle, but if you get the certification, it's a demonstration that you are an expert in that area. And these are nationally recognized wow. certifications, right? And so to have that certification, you can add credentials to your name, you can beef up your resume when you go to organizations, they understand that you are an expert in your field. And you know, Jason, they're really easy to sign up for. It, it's available online. If you go to www.hfma.org, the main website, you just go to the learning section and there's a certification link available. And from there, it's really nice. It's all self-paced. So you can register. You'll be given a list of courses that are self-paced. So you take them on your own time when it's available to you. And then at the end of the courses, you'll be presented with a, a test. And so it's a self-guided test. You have a certain amount of time to take it. And once you're finished, you're certified. OK, so this sounds really great and so good to be true. It is. Except let's get to the big question, right? Cost. Right, we're all budget conscious right. and aware. Yeah. So what kind of cost are we looking at here? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not cheap. Okay. So typical certification's gonna run you about $400. Each? Right. US dollars? Yep. Out of my pocket? But. But what? But for enterprise members, certification program is absolutely free. What? You don't pay a dime. Free? Who doesn't like free, huh? Let's hear it. <laughs> Free stuff. We're gonna give you a certification and you a certification and you a certification. Free stuff, huh? Right. I love it. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So when you go and register, you don't have to pay anything. You just are able to take the course and and pass. So I really encourage folks to take advantage of this. It's something that's uh, really a benefit of being an enterprise member. So gain knowledge and expertise in your career. Mm -hmm. Get certified on a national level. Yep. Career development. Yep. Build your resume. You've been listening. Growth opportunity. Free. Huh? But have you even done it? <laughs> what? I know. Let's call you out. Well, as a matter of fact, I am a recent CHFP certified member. What? <laughs> Kelly Smith, round of applause. Look at it, huh? Congratulations. Let's high five. Congratulations. I'm also a good high fiver. You are a real good high fiver. I might need ice. Okay. I, you know, I'll be honest, it was not easy. I, I, yeah, what did that process look like? Well, I felt like if I'm going to be incoming president, I better get certified. If you're going to walk the walk, you've got to talk the talk. That's how you say it. Good that. job. Yeah. Just keep moving. Okay. <laughs> Just, Just keep <laughs> rolling on this. No yeah. cue cards. Yeah. And so, um, you know, I signed up, and it took me about 15 to 20 hours. So it's not okay. something that you do 
um, in a short amount of time. It's an investment. Commitment. But I learned an awful lot. I felt really proud of myself for getting it. And, you know, it's a lot easier than going back to school. And so I would recommend it for everybody. If I can do it, you can do it. So awesome. take advantage. That's amazing. Is there anything else that we need to talk about? Anything we left out? Anything you want to just give us in another plug on these certifications? I would encourage folks to take a look online. So go to the national page, look at the certifications, review the scripts to see if any one of these speaks to you and take advantage. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thank on being you. certified. Amazing. And uh, thanks for coming out and we appreciate it. We'll see you on the well, next episode. All right, get out of here. Perfect. So really, that's a lot of information. We keep giving you stuff, but this is a great program. And again, it's free. It's for you your organization's investing in you. So let's take advantage of that. Let's do a quick, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for my tech team, but I'm on the fly and I don't have a script. So anyone in the room certified, no pressure. Anyone? Awesome, awesome. That's amazing. Anybody in the room interested after what you've heard so far to be certified and I'm okay if you lie to me right now, just somebody raise your hand. Awesome, look at that, that's like 20 people. It's totally fine, no judging. All right, so great job. So our next guest is an amazing rising star within the Oregon chapter and is one of the local grown prov, Shanti. Let's go! Good to see you. I lost my wife. I was like ready to catch you or something and it popped out. Okay, well. Thanks for coming. Yeah. How's thank your you day? For me. Oh, it's wonderful to be here with you all. I'm so excited. The talk social circuit is great. Yeah. Can everybody hear me okay? We've got that technical Awesome. Difficulty. Yeah, okay. we're good. Great. How, how was your commute today? Was it traffic crazy? Oh, was yeah, it? The elevators were packed. I yeah. <laughs> I wondered about that. I'm surprised you showed up on time. Great job. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Appreciate it. <laughs> so, we're going to talk about early careerists. And what is that? Yeah, so that's a great question. Early careerists are folks who are really just starting out or maybe are at a midpoint in their career or those who might be in the midst of a career shift into a new area for them. Uh, I think that early careerists have a new and unique perspective that are often untapped both by their employers as well as by the Oregon chapter and national HFMA. So, um, I think that they're the future leaders for both healthcare finance and HFMA. So even though now that I'm in my like low 30s or so. <laughs> um, no judgment. <laughs> yeah, we didn't ask for audience participation on that one. Um, if I'm new to the organization, new to healthcare, I'm an early career. So it's not age driven, it's industry driven. And I think that's a key point that we need to think about is an early career is maybe somebody new to an org or new to the industry or that part of the org and they can still benefit from some of these things. Definitely, I'm actually an example myself. I've spent a large amount of time in payer contracting and recently shift over to reimbursement. So it's kind of a whole new world. I feel in a lot of ways like I'm starting over fresh but it's exciting and an opportunity to learn new things. And HFMA has been such a wonderful um, <laughs> avenue of education for me. I actually sat for the CHFP exam with Kelly and woohoo, passed, so that's exciting. Uh, but uh, it's an opportunity through HFMA to prove yourself. And for early careerists, I think, um, in a word, that accessibility is the key here for HFMA. Um, the national website provides toolkits for self-assessment, which can help you regardless of where you're at in your career. Perhaps you're you know, a CEO already and you just uh, are looking for new opportunities or you want more education, everybody always needs CPE. Well, there's toolkits and um, ways to help reach those goals once you've done those kinds of self-assessments to find your strengths and weaknesses, so go check those out. Um, there's also opportunities for leadership and volunteering mentoring and professional networking, which I'll get into here in a minute. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you get into maybe some specifics of like some programs for the early careers that HFMA offers or, you know, the enterprise solutions does? Yeah, well, first I wanna to touch again about the accessibility of the education. A point that I've heard from peers is that HFMA is great, but there isn't any education that's directly related to my career aspects and the things that I need to brush up on. Here online, you can see some of our free 
well, free to enterprise members sponsored by Providence and the other organizations. Um, online education that's available. These are broken down into different categories. I won't read them off, but um, it's really wonderful because there's so many roadblocks that face early careerists, but really anyone within healthcare these days, I feel like budgets are tightening. There's less opportunities to do travel and um, you know expensive conferences. This free desk side education is really uh, a wonderful value for everyone. So, um, and if we could just pause, you said some keywords there, desk and side. So these are things yeah. that you can do in at your desk, in the office, during working hours, not going anywhere, and you're bringing it to the employee. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, a huge opportunity for yourself to uh, polish your skill set, feel confident in what you're presenting to your leadership, and opportunities to become a leader yourself. So. Um, in addition to the online education, Providence and the uh, regional chapters, both the Washington, Alaska, as well as Oregon, have uh, begun a mentorship program here. If you are at a, paid, a place in your career where you feel like you would like to mentor someone, that's an option. It's also an option if you'd like to be mentored. So particularly for those early careerist folks, it's an option to come in. Um, there's more information here on the slide. You can see the website there. Um, it's also on our SharePoint for those who have uh, our internal Providence folks. Um, again, this can be done at your desk. There's some more details there. Um, I will say that the program begins in July and they're accepting signups now. So if you're interested in either way, please go ahead. Excellent. I mean, mentoring is a huge opportunity. I think it's great. I know the local chapter does it as well as uh, Prov does it for their Enterprise Solution members. And it's just a great way to get involved. And again, what's cool is you're wanting mentors and mentees. So it's a collaborative effort for people and just really help develop those early careers. So yeah, great absolutely. job. What an exciting program. So one more thing I wanted to talk about is um, I've personally found a great deal of value in volunteering for HFMA. I feel like it has provided me opportunities that I have not yet um, been given in my career, sometimes by choice, sometimes not, but um, for connections and professional development. Uh, as you can see here on the slide, there are a number of committees that you could potentially showcase your skill set or learn more from those networking opportunities, which we'll talk a bit, little bit more about in the uh, coming moments. But uh, Lots of opportunities for volunteering. Um, for me, it was an opportunity to engage as a leader. I was able to participate as co-chairs of uh, different committees as well as the chair. And right now, I'm, I'm a chair of committee, which is why I'm here experiencing some personal growth by public speaking. So, <laughs> Yeah, it seemed like you should have put on this list opportunity to be on a live talk show. Right. You know, you never know. <laughs> right, huh? There you go. Voluntold's a fun word. It is. Yeah, yeah. I've learned it from my boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that sounds amazing. Is there anything else that you want us to know or anything you think that we just want to push out there? I just want to reemphasize how important it is to understand that so much of this can really be done at your desk. You know, your employer wants you to access this information and get this education. It's a value that's being provided to us as caregivers. It's important to them. Let it be important to you, too. This is such a wonderful opportunity. So. Yeah, accessibility is key. So yeah. awesome. Thanks for the information. All right. Super appreciate it. Great job. You, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're rocking it. So again, remember, as early careerists, it doesn't necessarily mean just out of college or young. Like you can do a lot of different things. And accessibility is a key takeaway. These are things you have at your fingertips to reach. So awesome job. So our next guest on the feedback front row, it's all good. I love the echo of my voice. Um, yeah, I talk a lot. Uh, so our next guest is the co-chair, incoming chair of the networking committee, Johnny Essa. Hi, Johnny. How are you? Good. What a great hair day, huh? Great, thanks. Uh, yeah. Straight out of the shower. I didn't even do anything. It just yeah. kind of felt like this. Twins. Either did I. Straight out of the shower. No gel. This is uh, a really great room. You guys have been laughing and clapping the whole time, so hopefully you didn't uh, run out of steam down towards the end here. I noticed that they're just quiet. I know. 
the rest of the presenters kind of stepped it up as far as humor goes today, so I feel. So you're gonna step it down? Today. Yeah, I think that I'll just try and be unfunny. Get to their level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. So, John, talk to us a little bit about networking. I know we've mentioned a few times here throughout the day, but networking, like, what does that mean to you, HFMA? How can it help people here? Yeah, absolutely. So, I think that I want to talk about networking kind of in a couple of different ways because I think that. Um, one of the really quick answers for it is that, you know, within our chapter, we have conferences that uh, at, at the end of the day, you know, you put in a long day as far as education goes. And so by the time you're, you're finished listening to all of the presentations, you're ready to wind down. So we have. <laughs> so so what we what we want to provide for folks that are able to come to conferences is the opportunity to share, uh, share some drinks, share some food play some uh, icebreaker games with us, give you the opportunity or a platform to meet uh, some new faces that maybe you didn't know before. Uh, the, the second level of networking for me is kind of just uh, social media. Uh, you get a chance to interact with some of your peers within the, within the industry that you might not have known before. And, and then the third thing is just sort of the things that happen outside of all of that. Uh, you heard Matt talk a little bit earlier as far as, is that too distracting when that's happening? Do I stop talking? No, or? it's fine, but we have 14 minutes, people. Pick up the pace. Let's go. I saw that thing, so just keep talking. Yeah, yeah, great. So yeah. I feel really pressured now. No, no, no. Uh, Chill. It's good. We have 13 minutes. Yeah. Uh, so there's networking that's going to go on outside of that. The, the quick answer is it's something that we do at the end of the day uh, when education's all wrapped up share drinks, share food, share good conversations with uh, new colleagues within the industry, and hopefully get a chance to learn some things. Yeah, awesome. So what about some specifics or some takeaways you've learned from the networking group? Yeah, awesome, awesome. Anything? So, a few specific things. That's great because, so Jason said that I'm the incoming chair of networking. Jason was the, ex oh, yes. Thank you. Shanti's pointing out to me that I haven't uh, advanced my slide yet. Well, I have tap shoes on. I can do a little dance if we need to. It's fine. You can make it really easy without the slides, too, I think. Oh, okay. maybe. We'll keep going. We'll see. Okay. So, as, as many of you may have done also, I grew up watching Schoolhouse Rocks. So, I'm a big believer in three being a magic number. And so, when you get towards the end of something, if it's, it's a lunch like this in education where you've already been inundated with a ton of really good information, I always like to give people three tangible takeaways. So if you remember, oh, look at it, there it is. Three tangible takeaways. If you remember nothing else, then the thing that I think is the most important about networking within the, this Oregon HFMA chapter is, one, stop reinventing the wheel. Uh, two, you get the opportunity with us to learn some things that you didn't know that you didn't know. And, and number three, expand your own personal network. I think that those are the, the three takeaways. Forget If you forget everything else, just try and focus on those three things. Awesome. It looks like you guys have a lot of fun too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great point. So uh, we do have fun. Like like Matt said, there's a bit of a, a special sauce that exists in the Oregon chapter. Um, and, and I think that part of that is the cohesiveness. It's it's obviously top-down leadership sort of stuff and and that uh, the spirit of, of synergy, I think, that just kind of runs through everyone. What, when I say uh, stop reinventing the wheel, I think the thing that I mean there is, you know, we, we do give you the opportunity to interact with some of your peers, folks that are outside this building, maybe in different departments, people that are tackling problems that you might currently, or they have already successfully tackled something that you're currently working on. Don't reinvent that wheel. Utilize your resources. If you have the opportunity to meet people that have already done what you're struggling with, ask them questions. Like we talk a lot about education within the industry and us giving you those tools. And another thing, very selfishly, keep that for yourself. The opportunity to work with people that already know answers, ask questions. There's like, you, you don't get less credit at work for someone else helping you find the answers to something like this. Well, and look at this room. We have 50 people in this room. We have a number of people online. Like there may be somebody next to you that you hadn't met that knows something that you don't know and now you make that connection and now there's a network there. There's a resource. You came to this HFMA Enterprise Solutions event and you have the ability to network with all all these people. I mean, that's a great opportunity provided by the org. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, and, and like Jason's saying, you're networking now. When you leave this room, you're having ca casual conversations with folks. That, like Jason's saying, building that relationship. I will have times when I'm talking with Jason and I don't even realize that I'm learning something from him. 
and then I'll, I'll go interact with the client. And the next thing I know, I'm, I'm running an exercise that Jason told me about months ago that I didn't realize. Who did? Oh, you taught me. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Let's talk more about that. No, I'm yeah. kidding. Um, I think that's a great though point, though. That oftentimes, we realize that we're networking, and we don't even know it. And so we're learning from people. We're growing from people. And I think it's a good opportunity that this uh, organization provides, yeah. whether it's in your face, networking, doing activities where you're doing stuff, or it's just having those conversations. Yeah, and, and I apologize. Someone mentioned it earlier, but they were talking about just the sharing of best practices. So that's absolutely true. You don't necessarily realize you're doing it all the time, but the, the resources that you have when you come into the, this group, if it's, it's, if it's because you came here because you want to have fun, and like I said, the, the sharing of drinks and food or, or whatever like that, or just getting to, uh, to, to meet new folks while you're volunteering, um, Throughout the process of doing that, you're going to learn some best practices. So not just learning how to tackle whatever that obstacle is that's immediately in front of you, but just something brand new that you'd never thought about before. Like Jason said, it could be someone in this room. Uh, it could be someone that's in a, a completely different organization. Yeah. yeah, excellent. What else? Is, oh, did you just forward that slide? I didn't. Leanne is just oh, on that's top awesome. of it. I love me. it. So let's talk about this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the idea of know someone. Uh, know someone that knows someone, I, I will take a stab here and because, you know, as Leanna was talking about uh, enterprise memberships and just the idea of advancing your career, there's a good chance that where you're sitting right now is not where you intend to be sitting in two, three, four, five, ten years. If you're not where you intend to be at the end of your career, then th this is an awesome opportunity to get to know somebody. I'm, I'm very happy where I am and doing what I'm doing, but say I leave my job, I now know that I have Jason and Matt and Kelly at OHSU, or like I call up Leanna or, or Matt or or Jeff or Hayden or or Wendy or Shanti. It's all these people that I've just gotten to know through HFMA that I wouldn't otherwise have known. And I can hand a resume and reference people. Again, selfishly, there, there is great information. We're, we This team works very hard to be sure that you're getting all of the best education as far as patient accounts or finance or if it's certification or things like that. We work very hard to do that. And then selfishly, keep for yourself the opportunity to build relationships with people that can help you advance your career. I think that that's uh, invaluable, yeah. probably. Sounds amazing. So are there ever opportunities outside of conferences, outside of blogs online, outside of the websites that you can network and have an opportunity to make connections outside of those venues? That is so weird that you bring that up. In is fact, it? In fact, there is. We, uh, uh, Jason and the team have been working really hard. Oh, that. Yes, my next slide. So I lied to you guys. I told you that I stick with this idea of three being a magic number. We gave you a fourth one right here. Step four: treat yourself. Do you guys? Does anyone here watch Parks and Rec? That's what that reference from, reference is from. The one guy in the back. Awesome. Thanks for raising your hand. <laughs> Everyone else lied or turn on the TV once in a while. <laughs> So like we talked about uh, kind of at the beginning, uh, you guys have been sitting in here listening to a lot of information, it's a lot to try and retain. Uh, if you come to a conference or if, if uh, you know, you're sitting through a whole day's worth of education, by the time you get to the end, you owe it to yourself to have some fun. So step four, treat yourself. Why should you network or like why is networking an important part of Oregon HFMA? It's because you work hard doing what you do. You deserve to have fun with the people that you work with and not just work with the people that you work with. Um, along that line, we have created an opportunity uh, in concert with our colleagues up at the Washington, Alaska HFMA, where we are going to have a chapter versus chapter kickball game. What? Yes. What well, We're going to crush them. We are. We will absolutely crush them. <laughs> yeah. So what does that look like? Yeah, so uh, August 3, August 3rd from 11 to 4, we're going to be up in Chehalis, um, and it's going to be free of charge. So, again, one of the things that you might see w when you're looking at all of us interacting off on the side is we're, we're very, I think that we probably call ourselves kind of a family-like unit because we support each other, we celebrate together, and in, in, in those steps, I think that for this kickball game, we wanted to be able to actually meet everyone else's family. So... If you're not big on kickball, if you're just brand new to all this, and you're trying to figure out, you know, should I be a part of Oregon HFMA or like should I be more actively involved in it? Bring your family up. I think that are we have is food gonna be There's gonna be some food, beverages, some food beverages, yard games, some other things going on. Beverages. Yep, and uh, just a great way to meet people within the healthcare industry, within HFMA. Families are invited and just great networking opportunity. Uh, that's provided to everyone free of charge. And, and we will be looking to do this more and more to create opportunities uh, 
for our enterprise members to get to come out and network and sort of, I guess, just hit all the things that Jason and I were just talking about, the opportunity to meet other people. If you don't get to take the week away to go out to Salishan, which you probably should, it's really great. Um, but if you don't, then utilize something like this. Take the family up for a, a play date. It's going to be you know, just a regular kickball game, but I think that we'll have opportunities for the kiddos to get in the game and have some fun as well. Absolutely. And that... And then, oh, am I? no, no worries. Um, so anything else you want to add or anything that you want to talk about or just network, network, network? Yeah, I, I'm, I feel a little bit overwhelmed because of the whole technical difficulty. So I think that I probably blew through a bunch of things, but uh, we'll get to a Q&A later and you guys can ask questions and maybe I'll remember what I forgot. Awesome. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Yeah. Get out of here. So networking, it is a huge advantage. It's really good to do. And so just really think about that. Like when you're in these sessions, when you're online, when you see these presentations, reach out to those speakers. That's a network opportunity. There's somebody who's given you a presentation about an industry standard. They're an expert. Email them. Get their contact info. The local, the national websites, they have information for you to get resources. So think, think about that for sure. Um, the other thing to mention, I'm not sure if we did. We probably did. But we've talked about conferences a little bit. A lot of us can't go and attend those because we don't have the budget or the time. But we do have local conferences, and Wednesdays are free. And so just remember that, that we have a great opportunity that if you can get the time to go, Wednesdays are a free opportunity. So we have one more surprise guest in the audience. It could be one of you, and you don't know. And I could just call you up here and put you on the spot. <laughs> but I'm not that mean. So we're going to welcome Wendy from Prov just to talk a little bit about some of the resources here. Thanks for coming. I think they want you to use this mic. Oh, these are pretty loud. Ah, okay. So, we'll so just we'll talking to my um, chest. <laughs> wow, I'm not going there. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you for letting me come and visit, by the way. Um, I am Wendy Gibson. I uh, reside in our Renton office. Um, for those of you who have attended one of our brown bags, I'm the voice on the phone. I'm so glad to see you. And if you haven't, please attend them. Uh, we do them at least two to three times a month, and there will be technical stuff that you'll want to learn and some other organizational information. Yes, Jesse? Yes, um, we'd like to, to, to um, especially somebody from Renton, from Providence, Washington, Alaska chapter. We want to cheer you on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so in case you don't know, there is a lot of competition between Oregon and Washington. <laughs> yeah, we're going to mute the phone now, but thanks for coming. <laughs> so when they did this kickball fight, we actually got both of the presidents of both teams up. They're wearing bright shirts, and they're just, you know, we're kick butt the whole nine yards. And then it just got louder. <laughs> and louder. No competition at all. No. Not at all. And that, but... Um, I'm really glad that we have this opportunity to, to talk to you guys about what HFMA is and then what are the benefits of it. Um, if you ever have any questions or having troubles logging on, you want to do more, um, you have some ideas on ways to grow, don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the Outlook book and I'm sure it's in one of these decks somewhere. Um, I'm really easy to contact. I do have information on the mentorship. Um, for those who would like to be a mentor or mentee, I actually have leftovers from the conference if you would like information about it, so I have those as well. Um, Don't move around too much because the camera and the mic are standing right here. <laughs> just a little tip. I know. really great. <laughs> you just want me to talk to your chest. Want me to take my shoes off? No, I'm good. Okay. I can stand on my tiptoes. <laughs> okay, it's totally fine. My calves are burning. <laughs> okay. Um, and then for, for those who are outside of our Providence Family Cadillac Pac Med, even our high school and our uh, college, those memberships are included. So I just want you to understand it's not just what you know is Providence, it's any affiliation within Providence that those people can also get membership. Um, and then there's also our women's conference. So we do have a conference coming up. The women's conference for Providence um, or for HFMA is co-partnered with Providence and it will be in our Renton campus on July 26th, so we'd love to see everyone there. Um, we'll also do kind of a mentor-mentee match and kind of let people talk to each other, so if you're going to be part of that, we definitely want you there for that. If you have any ideas or speakers you would like to hear, please send me the information. We want to make sure we, we really get a really good round table of people that are talking about things that are important to us and relevant to what is happening in our impact at workplace right now. And uh, let's see, I was writing down stuff as he was talking so I could keep up with everybody. 
Um, on the networking and career stuff, um, if you have a job to post, we have um, details on that. And if you'd like to find a job, you could find a job on the post board. I don't recommend you go anywhere about Providence, but that's just me. <laughs> Um, let's see. I cover the mic. <laughs> that was really nice of you. I appreciate that. Oh, and then for those who do want to go to conferences, we have what's called a provider pack. Um, so uh, because we are enterprise members, we get at least a hundred dollar discount per uh, person. Um, so if you get a ten or twelve uh, provider pack, we actually get a bigger discount. So those are some of the other things that we have benefits for. For those of you who are managers, leaders. Um, and you want to kind of say, hey, I'd like my team to learn these education courses, you actually have the ability to assign those courses. We can run reports. And we do run quarterly metrics. So we started HFMA just over two years ago. And when we started, we had 218 PROV HFMA members. We now have over 1,000. So wow, excellent. And that, that's to you guys. You know, and it doesn't matter if you are a physician sitting in a doctor's office. It does not matter if you are, you know, the CFO uh, in Montana. We see every pathway through um, the healthcare industry that has participated in this. And the networking, you do meet some amazing people. You make some really great friends. I mean, look, we have Jason here. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much. Great information. Again, you guys have a lot of great uh, opportunities, so thanks for coming out, and oh, we appreciate it. Thank you for having awesome. me. Awesome. Yeah, let's have a round of applause for everyone who was on stage today. So awesome. So just a reminder, this is a great opportunity for you to grow, develop, learn. All these are accessible to you and they're free of charge and your organizations have invested in you, so let's use those. And we are gonna now bring all of our stars back up on stage and we're gonna have opportunity for a Q&A and people online can submit those as well. And so let's uh, jump up here. Let's adapt quickly. Stage set, I don't know where our team went. No, I don't need a chair. I don't know why the star wouldn't have a chair, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Totally kidding. Thanks for coming. Uh, so any questions that you want to hear about from certifications to online education, um, anything we've talked about today, here we go. I can go here. How come I have certificates that say I've completed a course, and yet when I go online, it says the little things are not checked off? The other question is, are you in a date range that maybe you took it four months ago, but you're in a three month date range? Because you can do like a three month, six month, nine month year. And so you need to make sure you, you expand that to whatever that date range might be. Okay. Yeah, but great question. And you can maybe take that. Any other questions? Yeah, the question is, how long is the Enterprise Solutions membership for the Providence team? And those Enterprise memberships are three years, um, and that's where that contract then happens. Usually about the two, two and a quarter mark, they renegotiate to figure out if it's value add and you're going to renew. But it's a three-year commitment. <laughs> question in the back. So great question. I think Kelly Smith is going to take this one, and it is, how do you volunteer and get involved? <laughs> I like that. Great question. It's like he's playing the bad as an audience. So how do you become a volunteer? How do you get engaged within the chapter? So the, the very simple, basic way anybody can do it is you can go to our website. And if you go to www.oregonhfma.org, there's a link that says, I want to volunteer. And you have the chance to put in your information and, and say something about what you might be interested in doing. And then one of our leaders will reach out to you and interview you and find out what it is that you'd like to do and how much you're going to be able to commit time and can you be in person or remote. We'll take any volunteer any way we can get. <laughs> we have uh, over 40 volunteers in the Oregon chapter and there's a variety of ways that you can participate. So online, easy way. And then certainly if you're ever at an event, just reach out to any one of the leaders. We would always be happy to 
to take on new folks. We like to pair up volunteers with existing leaders so you can kind of just observe how do they participate, what do they do, how do they get involved, see if it, it's something for you or not. And then always at the registration desk, we have a volunteer sign-up form. So lots of different ways to volunteer. We would love any of you. And I think a key component there is you don't have to attend these events, the conferences, to be a volunteer. And we have an example of somebody in our organization who volunteered on the sponsorship committee and didn't want to interact with people, didn't want to talk, <laughs> didn't want to go to conferences. And I was like, I don't know why you're volunteering. But she's amazingly organized. She likes uh, being strategic. And so she helped with all the spreadsheets and organization and helping those committee chairs really get that committee organized and structured. So you don't necessarily have to be at the conference at events. This again, you can do it from your desk if that's what you want to do. But it sure is fun to hang out with us. Any other questions? Anything online? Yeah. So for certification, and I know Wendy, I sent you a note um, of how successful the coaching, there was a coaching session to get ready for your certification. Um, we wanted something like that down here in Portland and they asked the question whether or not we could do it here on our pop campus. So if we can address sure. that. Yeah, absolutely. I'll get that one, John. Good job, teamwork. Yeah, what we can do is take that question to the certification committee. Uh, John's in the link. It's already been done. It's already been done. And uh, Christoph is the gentleman that teaches that class. He's retired now. He's a consultant, very busy in the Portland area. Uh, I think he's always amenable to coming on site to do these. Um, it'll be a small fee just for his time and cover uh, those expenses. But he, I, I took the test as well. He's the one who trained me on how to study for it. And uh, he is an amazing resource, so I would absolutely recommend that. And uh, we'll be your advocate to try to get him out here for you. Great. And he's, and the other he's thing, retired and passionate about certification, awesome. so I don't think it'll be too hard. That's what we need. Yeah. And I think we're supporting a lifetime member. So. <laughs> yeah. and, and the other thing I recommend is, especially as more people start taking the certification, do user groups and study groups together. Um, you know, we have conference space or we have other spaces where you could get together and work with other people to help increase, you know, the ease of the, the understanding of the test. I love that. I heard a laugh when they said we have conference space. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Any other questions? We definitely have a few more minutes, so if there's other questions, things you want to know more about. How about my team in Washington? You guys have anything you want to add, or you have any other questions? Yes. Yeah, we'll unmute you. Any anything up north, Jesse? Join, uh, they want certifications. Cool. What else do you want? You get a free lunch. Okay, I have another question. Yeah, great. Sorry. As an enterprise member at Providence as a whole, is there anything that we can do that are already members to encourage others or anything like that that would demonstrate for our organization or anybody else's organization that in fact it's value add? Is there anything you'd recommend that we help we demonstrate that? I mean, I'll just jump in on that really fast. I think the number one value is networking and word of mouth. So, like, I, you don't know me. So, if I tell you HFMA is great, you're kind of going to be like, well, I don't know you, and I don't know if I'm going to trust you. Now, if he knows me, and I'm like, hey, this is value add. I've had some great online courses. I did the certification. You should really think about doing it. There's probably a higher chance that he's going to jump in on that. So you yourselves are empowered to educate your teams, your coworkers, people in your organization to really promote what you've gained from it and value. And you're our best resource. Uh, I think the other thing I'll add, this is not on the ground promoter tissue, is that you know when our renewal comes up, which will be in two years, it, it's a very expensive program because we're enrolling 600 plus people, um, and that question is very important. So when I go to the hospital CFO to renew my membership, I need to provide her with what value did we get from this. So if I can prove that people were online taking these courses, that people were actually being certified, attending webinars, and everything is tracked. It's just a matter of the members going online and actually taking advantage of these resources. If I can prove that, then we'll renew our contract. But I have to show that sort of ROI, even though it's, it's not a, a money ROI, it's really a value ROI. So I would encourage Providence to do the same. And on top of that, I know um, our organization, OHSU, 
we have quarterly grow conversations, which are um, like our evaluations and opportunities. And so we really encourage our members to go online and take these courses as part of their grow conversations on a quarterly basis. And so we really encourage them to find what interests them. And then now we're getting those people to maybe take one, two, four classes a year. And then there's ROI there as well. And just a quick add to that. So a lot of our teams, especially if you're finance or some of the strategic teams, you have a certain number of education hours you have to do every year. Um, so this is one of those, why do we spend extra money somewhere else getting education hours when we get it within just May? Yeah. Um, and then it, the utilization. So like they said, quarterly, we have metrics like that how many webinars are being taken, how many forums are being used, how many newsletters are being read. You know, how many uh, conferences are people going to? So that utilization, we actually check it every month. And then they ask us, what are your goals? So that's why I say, if you are a leader and you have a goal for your team, let us know because we're going to customize something to you. Um, we're sending out what's called a portfolio, um, our personal portfolio package, which says, if, say I'm a finance leader, what classes do I need to take to be an exit finance leader? I'll send you which ones those are, and now you can enroll your team in those, and now we've got really great utilization. You've got better productivity. You've got a team who's got a standard level of education that everybody understands. And, you know, you have a broader perspective on how all the pieces fit together. So all of that shows value. So one's the metrics and the utilization. Two is the increase in performance and understanding in your teams. You know, and three is just, you know, that's going to continue to grow. Um, Jesse has actually started something we call Reimbursement University. Reimbursement is a really tough area to get education in. So we're creating the content, and eventually we're going to partner with HFMA to see if we can move that into something that they do as well. So it's not just awesome. a one-way road anymore. We're going back and forth. They're going to help us grow. We're going to help them grow. Awesome. So we've given you guys a ton of information, lots to like chew on for a little bit, get some ideas, go to the website. But more importantly, thanks for showing up today online and in the studio. And because of that, we have a giveaway. And it's not a car, and it is certifications. But on top of that, Leanna? Yes, so we did say that we would give away um, a conference attendee. So we talked about how great these conferences are. So as an attendee, we wanted to raffle off uh, an attend a registration for one of those conferences. So I don't know. I'm going to put my tech team on, on a <laughs> notice here. So our, from our randomly generated raffle, we came up with Dana Slate. So I don't know if you're in the, office, in the audience or if you're online. She is. We have confirmation here. Awesome. Woo. Excellent. So again, thanks so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. We um, are going to see all of you online getting certified, taking classes, and have fun for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining us.